TVG and 4NJ Bets members. Bet Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh to win the Haskell to triple your odds. Sunday for one hour only. Bet to win on your mobile device. TVG and 4NJ Bets members triple your odds on American Pharaoh. The $2,000 Hit It and Split It is back on West Virginia Derby Day at Mountaineer. You bet the late pick for at Mountaineer on Saturday. If you hit it, you'll split your share of $2,000. That's right, we're seeding $2,000 in that pick four pool for TVG for NJ Bets and PA Bets account holders only. We are pleased to be joined online right now by Eddie Keneally, who is shadowing Bents on Bourbon in the West Virginia Derby. First of all, this horse's progression, it seems that each and every time he gets into a race, he gets better and better and better. Ha have we seen his ceiling yet? Hi, guys. How are you all doing? Great. Yeah. Um, you know, the horse is improving uh, steadily. Um, as his distance has increased, he's uh, stepped it up every time, and he, he's won three in a row, and his most recent race was probably his best. Eddie, I, I agree with that assessment. I mean, it, it seems pretty evident on paper, and what I note is even though he was only increasing in distance by a sixteenth of a mile, that was his first time around two turns, and it looks as though this is really where he's going to find his best stride. Absolutely. I, I definitely think two turns is what he's best at. And um, I, I don't see the extra sixteenth of a mile uh, as a negative uh, going forward to the Mountaineer Derby. I think uh, the distance shouldn't pose any problem at all. How about the track configuration? A little bit different. They've got that very wide turn as they turn for home and a little bit of a, of a tighter turn on the clubhouse side as they pass the wire, after they pass the wire for the first time. D does the configuration, the way the track plays, does that ever come into consideration when you go to Mountaineer for a race like this? You know what? I, I have had very little experience with Mountaineer. I haven't run very many horses there over the years, hardly any at all. So I'm kind of new to the whole... Uh, the whole configuration of the track. So we'll just have to uh, watch some of the earlier races, see how the track is playing. Um, our horse likes to be tactical. He likes to be close to the pace. Um, it shouldn't cause him much problem. He's pretty versatile. He's, he's, uh, he's not a very big horse. I think he'll handle a, a tighter turn uh, as good as any. Eddie, you had Javier Castellano aboard in the, the Iowa Derby. Now you're getting back to Corey Lannery, who certainly got plenty of experience with Bent on Bourbon. It looks as though, based on what he did earlier on in his career at shorter distances, that, that Corey can place him wherever he likes early on. You mentioned he was tactical. Exactly. I mean, he's been, he's been up pretty close to the pace in sprint races. So in the two-turn race, he will naturally have some some natural speed to, therefore that'll put him in a nice position going to the first turn hopefully and Corey's ridden him twice uh, so he knows the horse and I think he'll ride him with lots of confidence and obviously it's a, it's a, it's a step up in quality the competition is certainly a stellar competition on on Saturday but um, our horse is going in the right direction well let's talk about um, his fitness and his progression physically because at age three, we know how quickly these horses can get better and they go through growth spurts. At this point in the season, we're almost in August. Where is he right now physically coming out of the Iowa Derby and that performance? And how is he training leading into the West Virginia? Well, physically, he's in great sh shape. He's an extremely sound horse. And um, he's held his weight very, very good. He hasn't gotten a light. He's traveled the Prairie Meadows and back, and it's been hot. But he's handled all that in stride. Um, so I think he's moving forward all the time, and I think he hasn't peaked yet. He's a relatively lightly raced horse, and um, I think, um, you know, he's just now getting good now that he's got to the two-turn races, uh, and I expect him to show up again on Saturday. Eddie, thank you so much for joining us here on the morning line, and best of luck with Bent on Bourbon in the West Virginia Derby. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks very much. All right, thank you. Eddie Keneally.